Hello everyone, welcome to the third tutorial of the third person shooter multiplayer series. Things are about to get more interesting now. Today we will be talking about two important classes, App Pop and Listener class. These are the two main scripts that contain App Pop integration. These classes are mandatory for the implementation of multiplayer environment. First, Let's learn about App Pop class, which I find very easy to understand and play with. Before that, we have to fill in the API key, secret key, and room ID. These keys are used to initialize the SDK. So let's get these keys from our dashboard. You must be logged in to access your App HQ dashboard. Now go to App Manager. Under App Manager, select Apps and then select the last app that we have created in our previous videos. Then go to Settings, then you will have your Apps, API Key and Secret Key. Copy both the keys and paste them into the API and Secret Key section under App Pop Script. Again for the Room ID. We will go to our dashboard, then go to Dev Console and connect to App Pop Server. It will ask for your username. Type in your username. We have successfully connected to the App Pop Server. Now we can create our room. Select Create Room. Type in the room name and max users. After completing the detail, we will receive room ID. Copy room ID and paste it in room ID section under app pop script. Now our favorite part. Open App Pop Script. Let's understand some important feature of App Pop Script. This line of code is used to initialize the SDK with the help of API key and secret key. This section of code is used to add corresponding listeners that are defined in the listener class, which help in receiving notification connection and join leave callbacks. This section of code is used to assign unique username to a user whenever he enters a room. This section of code is used to send data to the app pop server with the help of our listener class. To keep things interesting, we will learn more about sending data in App Pop Server in the next tutorial. But first, let's learn about send byte function, which is defined in the listener class. The send byte function is used to send data to all the listeners that are present in the room, including the listener of remote player. The other functionality of listener class is to receive data from other listeners in the room. It is done by on update peers received. This function in return calls on byte function, which is defined in the app pop class. This function is responsible for handling remote players update and move remote player on screen. In short, there are three main functionalities of App Pop class. First, send position updates about the local player. Second, handle remote player updates. Third, move remote player on screen. Now let's learn about the listener class. Listener class implements mono behavior with other request listeners, which are defined in the SDK. 
Listener class gets updates about all the players in the room and sends these updates to AppWop class. And in return, AppWop class moves remote players. The APIs are developed to be used asynchronously, which means you simply add the corresponding request to the web client instance to receive response. For each API request made from the client, a response is generated from the server. The responses are delivered on the corresponding request listeners that are registered with the app web client. For example, the response for a room join request will be delivered as an event to the room request listeners. If you like the video, please do press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such videos.